Warning the following contains spoilers for, after two polarizing films from director Zack Snyder, Warner Brothers was concerned that the DC Extended Universe wouldn't survive another release with similar issues, so Joss Whedon was brought in to punch up dialogue, lighten the tone, and establish more connective tissue of. It was widely preached by those involved in the movie that Whedon was simply following a roadmap established by Snyder and wouldn't drastically change the plan, but the final product says something else entirely, with obvious Zack Snyderisms kept to an absolute minimum in favor of a far simpler plot and a lot more comedic relief. Unfortunately, the massive adjustment didn't work out as WB intended. Instead of offering enough Zack Snyder to appease fans of and mixed with enough Joss Whedon to draw in more casual audiences to love, resulted in what many consider a worst of both worlds situation where an overly simplistic plot and shallow villain are Accompanied by tonal whiplash, masked with obvious seams of reshoots and bad moustache replacements, resulting in another critical lashing, an opening weekend box office that doesn't even hit $100 million, and a second week box office where it's overshadowed by a Pixar movie. With On The Way, box office troubles will only become worse in the coming weeks. Related Paramount rejected. WB offered a CGI moustache on Henry Cavill for me 6 so, things may seem pretty bleak, but there's a number of things Warner Brothers should do with the DCEU before it needs to consider something as drastic as abandoning a connected universe, shelving team-up films, or rebooting altogether. Don't blink one of the most prominent sentiments of fans coming out of was that, Warner Brothers blinked. After two polarizing Zack Snyder movies leading into with and, the studio was clearly worried that would see a similar result and took evasive action to try to salvage the movie, reshooting and rediting significant portions to simplify the story, lighten the tone, and change the characters, particularly Superman. On one hand, the decision makes a lot of sense. After taking similarly drastic measures with the villain team up went on to score big at the box office despite scathing reviews. If the lesson learned by WB in that case that meddling works, citing box office numbers as evidence, instead of learning that meddling is bad by assuming the reviews wouldn't have been much better with their original darker take, then the same logic is clearly being applied with the only problem is it completely backfired this time. Instead of potentially sacrificing reviews for box office or vice versa, split the DC fanbase between those who wanted a proper conclusion to and and those that wanted something lighter, and the movie ultimately didn't even serve to increase the audience, ended up not only underperforming but doing so to a tune of $20 million less than the first movie in the franchise, it's not even clear that we'll even make a profit, but at this p, in the difference between barely squeaking by with a profit and the amount it should have made is so vast that even a profitable, can't be referred to as a success story. Fortunately, is the first DCEU flick that can be definitely considered a bomb, and they have underperformed, but and both exceeded expectations, and Warner Brothers had some big hits in 2017, meaning it can afford to take a hit on something like without having to make snap judgments about cancelling, rebooting, or anything of that nature. In fact, the DCEU is currently poised for its best run yet, and WB needs to let it happen, and are all different from previous DC films and helmed by competent directors. Warner's needs to take faith in that fact and not try to change those films in reaction to let James Wan do his thing with let David F. Sandberg do his thing with on let Patty Jenkins do her thing again with if all three of those films can get a positive reaction and do well financially, the failure of will be ancient history as the franchise moves forward. Related what future DC movies are actually coming out. That rule shouldn't only apply to the upcoming solo films either. There's been a lot of Discussion suggesting WB may abandon team-ups and more connected movies in favor of smaller standalone stories. While more standalone movies in the shared universe but with not major crossovers could be a great thing, WB also needs to not blink when it comes to the in-future team-ups. There are currently no movies on the calendar, but the failure of this first team-up shouldn't deter WB from looking into a sequel, may have done a dirty job, but now these Characters are out there in a way general audiences seem to appreciate more, and the hype generated from the post. Credit scene with Luther and Deathstroke needs to be acted upon.
stuff like the Justice League vs. the Injustice League, is the reason people show up to these movies in the first place. Putting in the work to make that movie possible, then shying away would be a mistake. Page 2, 1-2.